sex is not dating. If it were, Santana and I would be dating. I love your sweet lady kisses. Mm hmm It's a nice break from all that scissoring. <laughs> we should do a duet together. We should sing Melissa Etheridge's Come to My Window. First of all, there's a lot of talking going on, and I want to get my Mac on. Well, I don't know, I just... Okay. Okay. Second of all, I'm not making out with you because I'm in love with you and want to sing about making lady babies. I'm only here because Puck's been in the slammer for about 12 hours now, and I'm like a lizard. I need something warm beneath me or I can't digest my food. But who are you going to sing a duet with? I want to talk to you about something. I really like when we make out and stuff. Which isn't cheating because... The plumbing's different. Mm -hmm. But when Artie and I are together, we talk about stuff like feelings. Why? Because with feelings, it's better. Are you kidding? It's better when it doesn't involve feelings. I think it's better when it doesn't involve eye contact. I don't know, I guess I just don't know how I feel about us. Look, let's be clear here. I'm not interested in any labels, unless it's on something I shoplift. I don't know, Santana, I think we should talk to somebody, like an adult. This relationship is really confusing for me. Breakfast is confusing for you. Well, sometimes it's sweet and sometimes it's salty. Like, what if I have eggs for dinner? Then what is it? Ladies! Miss Holiday, we need your help. So why are we sitting on the floor? Because we're in Japan. No. <laughs> Welcome to my sacred, sexy sharing circle. I want to thank you guys for confiding in me because I know this is tough. And I want to ask both of you if either one of you thinks that you might be a lesbian. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, who knows? I'm attracted to girls and I'm attracted to guys. I made out with a mannequin. I even had a sex dream about a shrub that was just in the shape of a person. Hmm. Well, we've all been there. I went to an all-girls college where the only industry in the town was the manufacturing of softball equipment. I still feel a little tingle when I hear Ani DeFranco. Ooh. Anyway, it's not about who you are attracted to, ultimately. It's about who you fall in love with. Well, I don't know how I feel because Santana refuses to talk about it. Okay. Well, I know talking about feelings can be really hard, so I have an idea. Why don't you guys find a song and see if maybe the lyrics of the song could help you start a dialogue going? I could be down with that. I have the perfect song. There's just one problem, though. Britt and I may need your help to sing it. I thought you'd never ask. Is that really how you feel? Uh, yeah. Thank you. Pretty cool that our girlfriends are such good friends, right? Wish you and I were that close. Can I just applaud this trio for exploring the uncharted world of sapphic charm? Brava. Brava. Look, just because I sang a song with Brittany doesn't mean that you can put a label on me. Is that clear? Uh, I wanted to thank you for performing that song with me in Glee Club. Because it made me do a lot of thinking. What I've realized is why I'm such a bitch all the time. I'm a bitch because I'm angry. I'm angry because I have all of these feelings. Feelings for you that I'm afraid of dealing with. Because I'm afraid of dealing with the consequences. I want to be with you. But I'm afraid of the talks and the looks. I mean, you know what happened to Kurt at this school? But honey, if anybody were to ever make fun of you, you would either kick their ass or slash them with your vicious, vicious words. Yeah, I know, but I'm so afraid of what everyone will say behind my back. Still, I have to accept that I love you. I love you, and I don't want to be with Sam, Finn, or any of those other guys. I just want you. Please say you love me back. Please. Of course I love you. I do. Single. 
I am so yours. Proudly so. Oh, wow. Whoever thought that being fluid meant you could be so stuck. I'm sorry. <laughs> Tora, get off I'm me. Sorry. You know what? Why don't you just settle down and let Auntie Tana here tell you a little story? It's about you. You're what we call a late in life gay. You're going to stay in the closet, get married, get drunk to have relations with your wife, have a couple kids, maybe become a state senator or a deacon, and then get caught in the men's room tapping your foot with some page. And you know what? I accept that about you. Why are you doing this? Because I need you. And you need me. We play on the same team. You're... Uh, look, I'm not ready to start eating jicama or get a flat top yet either. Maybe in junior college. This is garbage. I'm not gay. I'm trying to help you out here. Have you ever heard of the term beards? It's when a gay man and woman date each other to hide the fact that they're gay. Like the Roosevelts. So you and I are going to be each other's beards. And then we're going to win prom king and queen and rule the school. And what if I say no? Then I'm going to tell everyone about you and your life will be over. Only straight I am a straight up bitch. You in or not? Hey. Do you like my shirt for Glee Club? That's perfect. Check out mine. What? This is perfect. Legend has it that when I came out of my mother, I told the nurse she was fat. Well, I made a different one for you. I'm Hispanic. Wait, was that supposed to be lesbian? Yeah, isn't that what it says? When you told me all that stuff the other week, it meant so much to me to see you be so honest. Especially because I know how bad it hurt. I was so proud of you. Yeah, well, don't get used to it. And certainly don't even think about telling anyone. Why not? You're like the most awesomest girl at the school. Why would you try to hide any of that? Dating Karofsky. No. It's gross. You don't get a say in who I date anymore. Why not? Because I'm dating somebody? Because you're Lebanese and I think I'm bicurious? No. Because I said I love you. You didn't say you love me back. I do love you. Clearly you don't love you as much as I do or you'd put this shirt on you would dance with me. rumor that Santana plays for the other team. And I can confirm that rumor. It's 100% true. Wait, what? Brittany, are you serious? Yes. Look, it's Lord Tubbington. Hi. I'm so sad. Like a sad little panda. Well, that's why I brought you here. To cheer you up. I'm going through that rumors album, and I found the best song that really goes one step past Landslide in expressing my feelings for you. Private feelings. What about him? He's just furniture. Sorry, no offense. Hit it. And the songbirds keep singing 
like they know the score. And I love you, I love you, I love you like never before. Okay, so why couldn't you sing that to me in front of everyone? Now that Artie and I aren't together. No, not, not yet. I'm not ready for that type of public announcement. Ever since that muckraker thing, uh, people have already started treating me differently. I got asked to join the golf team. Well, what if I went first? Come on fondue for two. I'll ask you out to prom, and I'll tell you how I feel, and all you have to do is say yes. Okay. When and I didn't. I mean, just because I hate everybody doesn't mean they have to hate me, too. It's just a stupid crown you can buy at the party store. I could be an outsider my whole life. Can I just have one night where I'm the queen? As soon as we get to New York, I'm bailing to live in a lesbian colony or Tribeca. They must have sensed that I was a lesbian. I mean, they must have. Do I smell like a golf course? You don't know what you're hiding. They just. They know that you're not being yourself. If you were to embrace all of the awesomeness that you are, you would have won. How do you know? Because I voted for you. And because I believe in you, Santana. <laughs> this prom sucks. <laughs> now what am I supposed to do? Go back out there and be there for Kurt. This is gonna be a lot harder for him than it is for you. Right. I wanna talk about, um, you know, that thing that we never talk about. What, that sour patch is or just gummy bears that turn to drugs? Are we dating? Or what? Wait, isn't this a date? Aren't you paying? Because I ordered shrimp. Wasn't last week when we were taking a bath together, wasn't that a date? Are you crying? It's just that I'm really happy. Well, I told you last year that if I'm single and you're single, that we'd mingle. And if there's any controversy that interferes with my presidential campaign, then I'll use one of my leprechaun wishes. But in the meantime, I do have one more wish. Mm-hmm. I wish you'd hold my hand. Like, under the napkin. Hey, Tubbs. Can I talk to you for a second? Hey, listen here. You can't make fun of Finn anymore. Shut your potato hole. I'm here to apologize. Rachel's right. I haven't been fair to you. You're not fat. I should know. I, I slept with you. I mean, at some point, I must have liked that you look like a taco addict who said one too many back alley liposuctions. Whoa. Please stick a stock in it or ship yourself back to Scotland. I'm trying to apologize to Lumps the Clown. I am sorry, Finn. I mean, really, I'm, I'm sorry that the new directions are going to get crushed by the trouble tones. I'm also sorry that you have no talent. Sorry that you sing like you're getting your prostate checked and you dance like you've been asleep for years and someone just woke you up. Have fun riding on Rachel's coattails for the rest of your life. Although, you know what? I would just watch out for her come holiday time if I were him because if I were her, I'd stick a stent in one of those boobs and let the Finn blubber light the Hanukkah lamp for eight magical nights. Hey, Santana, why don't you just come out of the closet? You know, I think I know why you're so good at tearing everybody else down. It's because you're constantly tearing yourself down because you can't admit to everybody that you're in love with Brittany and she might not love you back. That must hurt not to be able to admit to everyone how you really feel. You know what I think you are? Coward. I'll see you at the mash-off. What's going on? Have a seat, Santana. I'm afraid we have some bad news, and I think I might be to blame. Oh, you think? Watch blood pressure, Bubbles. In my campaign to become Ohio's newest congresswoman, I've said some things that are not true, and I don't feel good about it. I set the tone for this campaign, and now I'm afraid my 
slanderous chickens have come home to roost. Santana, you should know that I have the phone number of a counselor who specializes in this. It's something that uh, I've been through firsthand. I'd be willing to talk your family through it. What are, you, what are you talking about? Reggie the Sauce Salazar sent me an advanced copy of his latest campaign ad. Turns out he has a niece who goes to the school, and she overheard a conversation a couple of days ago between you and Finn Hudson. Sue Sylvester wants to represent Ohio. She says she shares your values. If that's true, boy, do we have some questions. If you're so into family values, why did you promote a lesbian student to be your head cheerleader? And when did you plan on telling Ohio families? Here's another question. Why don't you have a husband, Sue? Is there something you're not telling us? Sue Sylvester, so many questions. I can't believe this is happening. I'm so sorry. I haven't even told my parents yet. <laughs> did you just say to her? I said I thought you were great. No, you're lying. No, he literally just said that. You tell her too? Santana. Everyone's gonna know now because of you. The whole school already knows. And you know what, they don't Not care. just the school, you idiot. Everyone. What are you talking about? So you guys are a Christian group? Yes. And if I pay, I can send a vocal valentine to anybody I want, right? 10 bucks, that's the deal. Awesome. In that case, I would like to send one to my girlfriend, Brittany. And by that, I don't mean my friend who's a girl. I mean my girlfriend, girlfriend. How does that sound? Happy Valentine's Day. You're giving me your computer for Valentine's Day? It's a playlist with all the songs that I hear in my head when I'm with you or when I'm thinking about you. I wanted to make you a CD for Valentine's Day, but this is as far as I got without any help, so. Oh, and I made you a cover. <laughs> Brittany. Thank you. Teen lesbians! I must see you in my office right now. Hi, my name is Joe. Santana Lopez asked me if the God Squad would sing a love song for Britney S. Pierce, and after thinking and praying about it, I knew there was only one right answer. Absolutely. Okay. Love is love, man. So here's for Britney from Santana.